Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter. Let's talk about YouTube Analytics. This section of the YouTube studio is your most important partner as a creator. It's also much less exciting studying it than making videos, but without paying attention to the data in your channel's analytics, you'll have a much harder time getting ahead. So in the next few minutes, I'll walk you through the most important metrics you need to keep a close eye on. So open up your own YouTube studio and let's get through it together. All right, first of all, let's open the YouTube studio. You can do that by going to the account and click on the YouTube studio here. Now we're going to be looking at the analytics of a small channel, something that was just started recently to show you that unlike a popular opinion that people sometimes have, the YouTube analytics only matter when you have a lot of views and a lot of subscribers, even the small data matters and you have to be looking at uh, your analytics starting day one of your content creation journey because this data, however small it is, will help you in creating better videos. So when you're inside your YouTube studio, on the left side here, click on analytics. So first we'll be looking at channel analytics, which gives you an overall information about how your channel is doing. But what's going to be really important is the data within each video, because you can get data video by video. So it takes you to the overview page where you can get how many views you got, how much watch time you achieved, how many subscribers you gained in the past 28 days. On the right side here, you can see some live data. And then down here, your top content of the period and your, your latest content. Now, the next thing we will be very much interested in is what's behind the content tab. So let's go over there and let's look at these four metrics here. This is obviously the views similarly in the previous tab. Then you have impressions. Now, an impression is when somebody comes across your video, right? They're browsing YouTube and then they see your video. So they see the thumbnail. You can see this number is 20,000, which is actually a pretty good number for a, for a small channel. But then comes the next metric, which is the impression click through rate. In short, CTR. It's a very important metric too, because that shows how many people actually clicked on your content. With a combination of these two metrics, you can measure how good your titles are, how good your thumbnails are, and overall how interesting your video topics are. Then scrolling down, you have the key moments for audience retention. Key moments for audience retention shows important moments in your videos. For example, where the views drop. We're going to go over to the audience retention section in, in a second and we'll talk about what audience retention really is. But first, let's move on to the audience section, which is basically showing how many unique viewers are there and how many returning viewers. You see, there is a significant difference, which is pretty common. Actually, people for some reason don't subscribe to the channel, but they're still watching. So if you're somebody who is regularly watching our videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button because it helps us out. Here you have information about videos growing your attention. And as you can see, there are more metrics that we actually don't have enough data for. For example, when your viewers are on YouTube, once you have enough data, this will be a very important information since it will show around what time people are active on the channel, which means that you can schedule your uploads accordingly, which will lead to a bigger spike of views right after upload which will kind of show to YouTube that, oh, that video must be interesting because a lot of people watch it right after it's uploaded. So once you have enough data, make sure that you keep an eye on this one. Formats your viewers watching YouTube. The reason that's important is because if you find out that, for example, your viewers in general, the majority of them are more interested in YouTube shorts, for example, in the short form content, you can optimize your content style to that and start making uh, short form content maybe more regularly. All right, and now let's move on to the research tab, which is a very interesting one. Here, basically, you'll see how your people find your videos. So you can go through these, get some inspiration. And here you also have videos where your content was also suggested and you can improve your content. OK, now let's move on to the video analytics. Um, where we talk about more audience retention and how you can use that information to 
to improve your content. So the most important metrics that will boost your videos are watch time and audience retention. Recently, we made a video about creating looping shorts and videos for increasing watch time, which for we used the Uniconverter, that also has many other features that will help you in creating, starting from writing scripts, editing, converting files, enhancing videos so make sure that you check it out at videoconverter.wondershare.com so let's go into this video right here this has the most views on this channel and the metric we're gonna be looking at is audience retention now as you can see here it's pretty flat which means that most of the people that click on the video actually click away by what is it basically the 15th of second seventh second and then from there you have a very steady decline and basically only what less than 10 percent of the people that click on the video actually watches it until the end which is <laughs> pretty sad let's check out another video this video for example has a much different curve first of all it's not that flat second of all it has spike moments, which means that it apparently has more interesting and less interesting stuff. As you can see, people also drop out pretty early on in the video, but then it becomes more interesting. You can click here and see what what's there in the video at the moment. Okay, let's get to work. You're gonna want... As you can see here, audience retention rises when you actually start showing practical stuff, the reason what people clicked on the video. Here basically I spend 1 minute, 1 minute and 20 seconds just talking about why it's important to, to sharpen uh, an autofocus image. So basically it's the runway that you give to the content that actually matters to people. And you can see that because in the first 30 seconds we don't dive right into the practical matter of the story. So people click away, they're like, okay, um, I'm not interested because I didn't get immediately what I wanted. So when you see data like this, and especially in audience retention, you can very much measure how to structure your videos. So if you see that people drop out in the first 20, 30 seconds, and that's more common when you have unique users, so they're not subscribed to your channel, just like we uh, checked it out before. They're there because they were looking for something that they were interested in, but they're not gonna stick around and wait just because it's you. So because of these kind of viewers, pay attention to the first 10, 15 seconds, and it doesn't mean that you immediately have to dive in, but you need to show something very interesting, give a hook that will make people stay. That's why looking at the audience retention metrics in the analytics will tell a lot about your videos and about your content and about how they perform. YouTube basically measures the quality and how good a video is based on these metrics. Because if the audience retention of a video is pretty much like this, the people drop out and then, it, and then it's flat, it will send a message to YouTube about the video not being interesting enough because, because people are not watching. And the more people stay and watch your video, the higher your watch time will be. So keep a close eye on these metrics that we talked about. These are pretty much the basics, but the most important ones. And if you didn't know how to use analytics and what's in there, now you have some information so you can get started on, on diving into it and learning from it. So I hope it helped. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope it was useful. Make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I'm going to thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.